Um, honestly, I mean, training camp, is, it was actually pretty fun for me, uh, just going through that process and being with the guys and just trying to come out and show that I belong and show that I'm here to compete for a spot too. You know, it was just really fun, especially because you're working for something bigger than just, you know, like training camp. You know, we're trying to win a championship, so yeah. Absolutely. What's the difference, the biggest difference between Eugene and NBA so far? Uh, for me personally, it's just been the pace of the game, uh, just learning to play at my pace, playing at the same pace, but being able to slow down and then be able to speed back up and stuff like that. So, so yeah. So, what do you think you've uh, improved upon uh, the best since you've entered the draft? Honestly, I mean, for me, it's just learning. Uh, that's been the biggest thing. My IQ, I feel like, has gone up, especially from college, just because of the different stuff and just the stuff at the pro level that you don't really know at college that you come in and learn at the NBA level. So. Oregon Ducks have a really good freshman. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think the chances of them getting to the, the NCAA tournament this year? Oh, I think they'll definitely make it. Um, their biggest thing, I mean, they have the talent. You know, their biggest thing is they got to make sure they come out and play hard every game, uh, especially when you have that amount of talent. Um, sometimes it can be hard when you're playing down a lesser competition, uh, but they just got to have the same mentality every game and just play hard and execute. And I feel like they'll be they'll make a really good run in the NCAA tournament, honestly. What do you think about players doing a one and done in mm -hmm. college? Uh, I mean, what is what does it say? The, the NBA and the G League mm -hmm. are offering elite players uh, contracts yeah. instead of like doing a one and done deal. I mean, do you think that's a good route for the pros? I mean, for me personally, it just depends on like where you're positioned at going into the draft, honestly. Um, it depends on everybody's different stuff. But honestly, I mean, I don't see it being a bad thing. But at the same time, you know, there, it definitely can have an impact on some players depending on them skipping college and not learning in that system and stuff like that. So those are good, there are the pros and the cons to it. But at the same time, I think it's a pretty good idea, honestly, in my favor. So, so yeah. do, you, do you feel like you've gained anything from playing ball at Oregon? Or, or do you th feel like you could have just went straight into the pros? Uh, for me personally, I felt like I needed a year just to develop as a man. Uh, that's just how I felt. Um, I couldn't imagine going straight from high school and playing with guys that are 30, have kids and stuff like that. You know, I needed that year to kind of develop myself mentally um, and just playing at that higher level. You know, uh, college to or from high school to NBA is a really big jump. So, so yeah, that's how I feel.